In this video guys, gonna be showing you around Black River Campground in Northern Tasmania. This is gonna be a full breakdown of the entire place. There's 18 different sites, there's a few different spots on each different site. There's places near the beach, there's places near the river, there's trees, there's sun. Stick around, watch the full video, and you guys will know exactly where you're gonna camp when you come to Black River Campground. Didn't think this walk would take so long. I'll show you guys around. And I didn't pack any toilet paper. Welcome to Black River Camping just outside of Stanley in the beautiful Tasmania. We have the water right at our footsteps. This beautiful campground has so much to offer, so stick around and let us show you around. working online and actually having true location freedom is on a Sunday everyone clears out you'd be amazed how many people clear out and how so many camp spots become available on a Sunday so it's currently a Sunday afternoon we're not going anywhere but it means there's a lot of empty camp spots, so I can show you guys this amazing camp place here and some of the sites that are available. So the Black River Campground does have a cost. It isn't a free camp, but at $13 for two adults per night, that's a bargain considering how amazing this place is. Area one, seven sites, let's check it out. Now, this is area two, much smaller, much more private, much more protected. And you do have the toilet facilities right there. So if you're someone that needs to go a lot, it's probably pretty convenient. If not, it's probably a little close for our comfort. So that was obviously 2A. There is also 2B because there's two sites. Not this, two. Two sites available. Plenty of shade, plenty of shelter. And what I do enjoy actually is every site has a camp fire pit. So you're allowed to have a fire in the designated camp fire pits. Happy days. This here is camp spot number three, and there is three spots available. Again, big beautiful trees, open spaces, level ground for a rooftop tent, camper trailer, caravan, honey room for tents if you want to be under the trees. 
or we're out in the open. And again, another designated fire pit area. Disregard that previous one actually because site two has three sites if you read the sign Shannon and this is site C. Site C has people in it so nice big site. Can't show you around but there's like four or five camper trailers in there and still plenty of room. So if you're in a big group of you and again you don't want to be too close to the ocean or the river that looks like a great one. So I'll the higher the numbers get, the closer we actually get to the ocean. The peak of it is probably six, seven, eight, nine. They're the closest to the ocean and the river. And then as the numbers go higher from there, you start to get a little bit further away, but you're a lot more in the ocean. So you'll see as the numbers go up from six, we start to lose some of these big, beautiful foliage and we start to get more into the salt bush and the sand and into traditional beach camping so as you guys also understand we have an online business that does fund all of our travels adventures and stuff like that and you know pays for all of our property investments and you know while we do spend a lot of time helping and mentoring other people on how to successfully build an online business to be able to do that sort of stuff it's not something we do on youtube it's something we do on our facebook and our instagram so if that sort of stuff interests you guys jump over follow our facebook follow our instagram send us a dm and if it fits you and what you're trying to achieve we'll also uh see what we can do for you there but this place here does have phone service now, phone service for us and our online business, it isn't a must. We just got to know if we do or don't have it. So if we haven't got it, it's okay. We just plan things strategically so that we don't need phone service there. But if we do have it, we can do some things where we need service. Tasmania has turned it on for us. We've had nothing but beautiful, sunny, 28 degree weather. We've only had it very, very minimal. We've been over here for like a month and we've only realistically had one and a half bad days which we just found a great pub to sit in <laughs> all right so i can't show you guys site three with the toilet in it uh it's a drive in drive out big open space the long drop toilet's not really in the spot so it's not actually too bad but there's people in there so i can't show you that one but that actually doesn't look too bad of a site again number three we're going up in numbers we're getting closer to the river and this is number four where there's only one site available so private and secluded so just up at the end of that road is basically just some big beautiful trees and a nice open camp spot so a really nice one but i must think we've got the absolute pick of them because again it's probably a bit too far from the river or the ocean for me it's a bit of a walk you wouldn't want to be carrying the paddle board or lunch or fishing tackle or anything too much it's just too far so 4b has three sites available they're nestled up at the end of that track this camp spot is like most of them here in Tasmania. It's a pay and display system. So you go and pay an honesty system, put it in the box, and then display on your windshield what you've put into the box so they can check it out. So this one is 4C, big open site. There is six sites available. So six separate groups of people could join you in here. So it is nice, big and open at the moment, but I imagine on a busy long weekend, Technically, they can fit six people in here. So there's actually a really good mix of camp spots, though. There are some that are private, secluded, but you wouldn't be able to get in there with a big caravan. There's other ones that you'd be able to get in with a camper trailer or rooftop tent like us. And there's other ones that are flat and on level. There's, just, there's absolutely all sorts here. And we haven't even gotten up to number six where we're camped at yet, or some of the beach camping. The flies are getting progressively worse on this walk and on this day. 
but the weather is just amazing. So we've been traveling Tasmania now for a month. It is, I think it's nearly March now. And the weather's been perfect, so I can't vouch for every month or every weatherman's predictions, but we've been over here for nearly all of February and gonna be over here still now, so it's like beautiful weather. Area five, two sites. Nice, big, open, you can see there's already one caravan in there. Plenty of room for another. So you can easily have you know, two caravans on that side and cars and still not be near each other. So what else could you ask for? So as we walk up this road here, we are heading up to number six. In our opinion, the best spot here at the Black River Camp. What's actually been surprising is so many people like different camp spots. Like, I don't understand why people would be camped all the way back there at number one and number two, but I guess everyone enjoys something different about camping. And that's what we love about it is we love the water. We love the secludedness, but we understand that not everyone loves the same things that we love. So Black River has something to cover for a lot of people. Site six, this is us, nestled under these big, beautiful gum trees, right on the river, which is right there. Short walk to the beach and only two sites. Like I said, it's Sunday, so we're extremely lucky that everyone clears out on Sundays. So we've got this place to ourselves. So site six also has its own little access to the beach. Have a look at this. So it's still a little while to go. I think it's only like 11.30, so it's still an hour or two hours off high tide. So that water being a river is that, and right on the ocean is going to come right up to where those footprints basically stop so and actually all those all this actually gets covered so we'll actually show you some drone shots before high tide when it's low tide we'll get out of this wind we'll show you guys a picture and a video of low tide with the drone and we'll show you high tide as well and check out the difference So as I mentioned, we do run an online business that funds everything that we do. The beauty about what we do is having location freedom and working from anywhere we like. While I show you guys around Black River Campground, that's the wife's office. So that was site six, what we considered the best site. Let me keep showing you guys around. So you can actually access the beach here for a car, but not to drive on or to park on. It is purely for boat launching purposes, but it's a really beautiful, calm river. So if you're trying to launch a boat and you're not extremely experienced, it'd be a great place to do it. So here's the river. We're actually camped up here. This is just a parking area. I'm actually gonna walk up here and show you guys all the next campgrounds and then i'm actually going to go for a swim because i'm getting a bit warm all this work i've worked up sweat so i'm going to go and cool off go for a swim maybe take the paddle board out so i can just go for a float as well so here's area seven area seven has the other toilet block that i mentioned and there's actually three spots available on area seven the car park area is actually plenty of room. So if you've got a caravan on and you're just coming for a day trip or a fishing boat or anything, plenty of room in the car park and it's a drive-in, drive-out. So.
Area 9, two sites. So we've lost the gum trees now, like I mentioned, because we're going closer to the sand of the beach. Nice, big, open, flat ground. But from all these sites onwards, there's not a lot of coverage from trees. So if it is really hot, might, may, might need to have some shelter. What we've been really surprised with here in Tasmania is the sun. It is so hot. Like, we're coming from central Victoria ourselves, where it's not uncommon for us to see 35, 37, 38 degrees. But you get a 30 degree day over here and you just swelter. Like, the sun is so hot. So, if it's your first time traveling to Tasmania and you're checking out this video and you're thinking about coming over to Tasmania and you see the weather and it says 25 degrees, pack a singlet and shorts because it's a hot 25. Area 11, four sites. We're actually relatively close to the beach here. You could walk through the scrub and over the couple of sand dunes that are here to get access to the beach. A lot closer to there than it is to the river. But it's a really low flat beach. So on low tide, the beach is a long way out. But have a look at this. So a big, beautiful open camp spot. You could have it all to yourself. With like the beach right there. Fire pit areas privacy like the toilets even they're only 100 meters away so no one's really within walking distance so much tranquility apart from the flies so here we go keep walking to the next camp spot we're actually probably we we'll probably walk like two kilometers i'd say from site one to where we are here it's probably like two kilometers away Site 12, six spots, can't show you on that one because there's a couple of different campers on there. But, considering there was three or four different campers on there, there was actually still plenty of room. Sort of like the last one, just a really big open camp spot. Damn flies. 13A, beautiful. Green grass. Green grass camp. It's a beautiful grassed area. It's grass. It's $13 a night. Who could believe that? Fire pit, green grass, beach. March flies. Bastards. Now 13B. It's a bit close to the road, my wife. And then we also have 13C. Tucked up in here as well as well. Site 13 also did have another, which I was unaware, so disregard what I said earlier, another long drop toilet on it as well. Just a single long drop, so if you're in these higher numbers, the 11s upwards, there's a toilet relatively close. So 14A, B and C are all big open grassy camp spots with plenty of room, plenty of sights and walking distance to the ocean as well. It is through some scrub and it is across a couple of sand dunes but it is walking distance. We walked it yesterday and had a look at probably like 150-200 metres. So for this video, it's actually as far as we've been. So I'm learning as we go up here because we didn't come this far when we explored yesterday. So let's have a look. We've also got here, site 15 has another long drop toilet. It looks very hot. That's what I'd consider a hot box, that one. But site 15 has one site. So again, private and secluded where no one else can join you. Site 16 two sides plenty of coverage plenty of sunshine so if you're someone who needs solar charging or if you're someone that needs Starlink access a really nice sandy site there plenty of room to turn around with caravans camper trailers or anything just you end up with a lot of sand in your camper by the end of the trip so we have now that was the last of the oceany type camping areas and we are now heading back in towards heading back in towards the scrub around the track further 
put it back into shade and shelter. 17A, one spot, secluded. What I like about the single spots is you're by yourself, so people can't join you. But that one hasn't got as much coverage between you and the other spots, so we're at 17B. So people can still join you. So here in the 17 sites, we also have a tap for running water. But it isn't drinking water, it is only just for washing feet or whatever you want to use water for. I didn't think this walk would take so long. I'll show you guys around. And I didn't pack any toilet paper. So I'm hoping this hot box back here has a roll in it. Hopefully the sun isn't too hot and it's not a hot box yet. A few moments later. Alright, that is heaps better. I can now relax. Whew, and show you guys around. Feel much better. Need to make my way back over to this site where there was water before. Wash my hands. Continue showing you guys around Black River Campground. Considering it's blistering sun and steaming hot, that hot box is quite enjoyable. It was really clean and not that hot. Hats off to the caretakers, to the Tasmanian government, to the company, the people that look after this beautiful campground. It's so maintained, immaculate, clean, well represented. Right. Area 18. Number one. I should say A, not number one. A, one site, private-ish. It's relatively close to the road, so private's probably not the right word. But there is only one site. Now guys, none of these campsites are on a book basis where you can call up or email in or anything a book. It is first come, first serve. If you want a good spot, you get here first. Also 18, 18B, and there's two spots available on that site. Now we're going coming up to 18C. I can see campers in here so might not be able to go too far in. So yes there was campers in there but I think there was four sites. Let me read this one. Put love for. Yep. There was four sites available in there and very big spacious sites right at the end of the road because there's only 18 sites. So you're away from a lot of people there because there's a lot of spots, turn offs, places where other people are going to get sites before they end up at the end of the road. So you're going to not see many people, not see much traffic. The beach, I would not say is walking distance. Not comfortable, not an easy walk. It's a, it's a fair way. To be walking distance from the beach, I would say you would realistically want to be at sites five, to 15, five to 16, somewhere around there within walking distance. You know, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 being the closest to the water. Six actually being the closest to the river. And then probably seven, eight being the closest to the beach. Now on my walks, showing you guys this place, I seen there was what looked like a shortcut. And it headed back in the direction towards camp. Now I'm, walking around showing you guys I actually haven't been this way myself so I'm gonna assume this is a shortcut and I'm gonna find out for you now if it's not a shortcut and I end up lost and eaten by a Tasmanian tiger hopefully this footage can be salvaged and you can all still enjoy an educational video of the Black Black River campground so in site 17 we have that I showed you before where the drinking water was this is where I seen the shortcut let me go and figure out if it goes back. I'm assuming it's going to go back towards our camp because I reckon it's near our camp there's this sign that has a bushwalker on it. We've been doing a lot of walking, a lot of hiking. Hey, there you go. There's another long drop at site 17. Something you learn along the way. 
So when I seen the sign before near our camp, there was a bushwalker on it. And I'm like, oh, not today. Today's about relaxing and not doing much at all. Just showing you guys this beautiful spot. And I've seen this sign very similar to this. So I reckon that this is going to be a shortcut. Oh, look at that. This is the sign that I seen earlier. Right at Camp 6. Oh, that was a great shortcut. So I need to actually update you guys now because I have learned something myself. So there was two toilet blocks. And there actually was then one, two, three, four separate long drops and one tap. So I like that little update there. Pretty sure earlier I didn't say that many. But we're back at site six so i'm gonna go back i'm gonna go for a swim and i'm gonna cool off i'm gonna put my feet up i'm gonna have a ginger beer i'm gonna sit in the hammock i'm gonna do some reading then i feel like it i might turn the computer on and do some work but for the meantime hope you guys enjoyed black river campground if you guys enjoy seeing in-depth videos of campgrounds that we got we're exploring and showing you guys like the video subscribe to the channel put a comment in here that you like it and we'll know that you want to see more of it and we'll make sure the campgrounds we go to we do such in-depth videos so that you can see exactly what's here before you come catch you on the next one